Tasty holiday flavors. That's what's happening at Family Fair, waiting for you. And if you're gonna entertain, or maybe you just wanna snack a little bit, or for brunch, Deanna, the dietitian here at Family Fair, has some really healthy, yet tasty options. Hi, Deanna. Hi, exactly, and thank you for saying tasty, because when we say healthy, everyone stops listening. Right, no, it, they're really buzzing. good. <laughs> yes, yes. So here we have some baked oatmeal bars. Okay. Okay, and so I made them with Cosmic Crisp apples. So Cosmic, have Hold you had- Hold on a second. Yes. Cosmic Crisp apples. Cosmic Crisp, yes. This is new. And they're a new variety that's a mix between a Honey Crisp and an Enterprise apple. So they're a little bit tart and a little bit sweet. And I, the reason why I like these apples is they actually get sweeter for the longer time you store them in the fridge. Of yes. course, any Michigan apple mm -hmm. will do, you know, the gala mm -hmm. and all the others that you yes, have. Yes, yes. And, sure. and we, there's a few recipes that we did with those today too, and I'll show you those. But this one, I'll tell you a little bit how I made this one. It's really easy. You just throw everything in the blender. You put your milk, your oats, um, and maple syrup, and then you just blend it all up. And then you put a little bit of baking soda, and then you put it in the oven, and there you go, and you sprinkle the apples on top. And any then egg in there? There is some eggs, so okay. there is two eggs. Okay, and that, and two eggs in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's like Christmas morning. Yeah, it is. Right? That's yes. like, Ex make it the night before or a couple of days before, that way when the kids get up early, they're, you don't have to make them exactly. anything. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, and you can just have everything ready to go, and right. then you don't get cranky, because you're hungry, and the mm -hmm. kids don't get cranky either. And I think they would be really good paired with milk. Too. Absolutely, that's what I was thinking, a cold glass of milk yes. in one of those. Yes. All right, I'm done yes. with that. So, okay. when it comes to things in the world that may be my favorite. Charcuterie boards is in the top 10, okay? Yes. <laughs> Charcuterie boards and me are friends, and I want to build my own. You're gonna help me do it. Yes, and so I have a couple like tips okay. and steps that we're gonna follow as we build our own charcuterie board, right. because who doesn't love charcuterie? So I like to start with the largest items first. So that's why I have these grapes put out. Okay. And then I also start with the dips. So here I have some pumpkin hummus, which I'm gonna pair with some graham crackers. Very good combination. So mm -hmm. let's put those. Uh, let's try that out. Let's try that. <laughs> so that's just a perfect like holiday flavor right there. So then once I once you have those peas, then I think of everything as food groups and like um, to add next. So now we're gonna be adding the dried fruits. I'm trying out this pumpkin. Okay, hummus. go ahead. You go go ahead. ahead. Tell yeah, me, tell me what you think. All right. Mm. I'll start building this. That is so sweet. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's like dessert. Isn't it good? And oh, it reminds yeah. me of like, it's like an alternative to a pumpkin pie, so if you don't want to make a pumpkin pie, yeah. you can literally just get pumpkin hummus and put some graham crackers in there, and then there you have a pumpkin pie. There is nobody that wouldn't want to have seconds of that. Yeah. That is delicious. Yes, very good. That's great. Yes. All right, so we have so, dried apple grass. Yeah, so I'm just putting a dried fruit on here, so I got some dried figs, and these are really fun to like, slice open because they have a really interesting texture and they're just really pretty looking. Then we're gonna add some nuts. So I toasted some baguettes that we can kind of sprinkle over the board. And then I always like these whole grain crackers and I keep them in the sleeve so that you can do the fancy little how did you Sweet. season these, this baguette? Yeah, it's so I delicious. literally just sprayed them with a little bit of oil, uh, garlic, and pepper. That's it? Yes. Oh, it smells so good. Yes. And so I always like to keep the crackers in the sleeve so that you can like do that little cool, curvy doodad. Seriously, we're missing some meat here though, right? Yes, we gotta yes. have some proteins. Yeah, so I have some deli turkey. So I'll give you the some deli turkey, figure Thank out you. how to put that on the board. Sure. And then I have some salami, and I'm gonna put that on here. And you can also do like, um, you can do any type of meats. Any type of aged meat is perfect. Oh dear, I'll, I'll take some, some, some Spanish ham. Yep. Some prosciutto, maybe some salami. Yes. I made some easel, easy pick, pickle. Did they call it quickle? Bell we call pepper. it, in our quickle? house, we call it quickle. quickle? It's a quickle. quickle. I love it. <laughs> you didn't pickle some it all the way. It's quickle a quickle. Some quickle bell peppers and quickle red onions. Uh -huh. And so I literally just did half and half. So I did half um, red cider vinegar and then half water. Perfect. So I didn't okay. add any um, salt in it for people who are trying to like watch their um, sodium intake during the holidays. And honestly, I don't think it really needs it. I think the vinegar is all it's Oh yeah, at. oh yeah. So. Now you're talking. And this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna want in the house so we're all waiting for you here at Family Fair, but when somebody says, hey, we wanna come over and visit for the holidays, you don't have to make a five course meal, bust out a charcuterie board. Yes. People love these. Yes. All right, and meats then, and cheeses. Meats and cheeses, and then I have a little bit of rosemary, because you always need just a little thing to spruce it up a little bit. Look at that. And then, last but not least, this There's is my favorite more. part, a uh -huh. little pop of color. This is the fun Pomegranate part. Pomegranate seeds. And this way you can just Go sprinkle it. it on. It's all over. Oh my goodness, Deanna. Just add that little pop, 
And there you have that beautiful charcuterie board. So everybody's got their proteins, this great charcuterie board. Now it's time for dessert and it's back to the apples. Yes, exactly. So I, with some Michigan apples, I specifically use Gala apples because they're great to cook with. I made this apple crisp dish. Really great. I use some of the natural sweeten, sweeteners from some dates and some apricots and then um, walnuts on top as well. So very delicious, mixed it in with some apple cider. And now we're gonna make the topping, which I think you're gonna love. Okay, what's we got? It's going to be mascarpone with honey. Oh, oh delish. Yes. Okay, so just a Just scoop the mascarpone, and then it? I'm gonna, you can just do a little bit. A little bit. Or as much as you want, it, it doesn't okay. matter. There's okay. no, whatever you feel looks good. More honey, please. Yes, yeah, so we can add a little bit more honey. Mm-hmm. So this is just put this together and this is your dip. Yeah, and that's the dip. And that can even be added to the charcuterie board. And then we take the apple crisp and that will be the topping to the apple crisp. So you can just put it right on top. Excellent, I'm gonna keep stirring. You start snacking and you yep. get to family fair for all of these great items. The Michigan apples, the Quaker oats, of course, used in all these great oat bakes for the apples. and. Build yourself a gorgeous charcuterie yes. board for the holidays right here at Family Fair. For recipes and more, you can head to that website right there on your screen, shopfamilyfair.com. We'll be right back.